Nice to meet you. Finally found one after all these years. The splendid leaf frog. Wow. In the Costa Rican rainforest, wildlife is present in nearly every direction you look. However, many of our adventures through this environment can be quite challenging. And rarely is the target species simply spotted by just surveying our immediate surroundings. Nearly all of the creatures we search for are well adapted to staying hidden. And not only from us, but also from their predatory foes that may be lurking just in the shadows. Tonight we are on location at one of our favorite destinations in all of Latin America, the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Center. This reserves extraordinary efforts to rehabilitate and restore specific amphibian populations might just make our expedition tonight, well, a little easier than normal. And the creature we're after is actually one that I've been particularly keen to find since we first started exploring this part of the world. What's going on guys? I'm Mark Vins, and we have hiked all the way out here in the rainforest to find a very specific species of frog. In fact, one of the frogs that I have been looking for for three years. And we have finally found a place where I think we're gonna get some luck. Come check this out. You see that there? This is an artificial breeding habitat. And those there are actually tadpoles of the splendid leaf frog. Come over here, Mario, get a tight shot of that. See all those tadpoles? Oh yeah. Turns out this breeding site is working quite well. In fact, when the reserve was founded over 16 years ago, there was only a single tree that was able to be located that housed the splendid leaf frog. And since that time and the implementation of these breeding sites, they've actually been able to boost the population fivefold. Now what the frogs will do at a site like this is they'll actually come in, let me see if I can find some eggs. Don't see, oh, here we go. Do you see that right there? It looks like the remnants of an egg mass. A lot of these have already hatched and have dropped in the water. What will happen is the frogs will lay eggs on the leaves and then when the tadpoles hatch, they'll actually fall down into this water pocket and then they'll go through their larval stage and they'll actually emerge as little frogs. So we know there's tadpoles, we know there's eggs. With any luck, mom and dad should be close by. Let's start looking. All right, I see one. You guys rolling? You have a shot? I need to find a stick. All right, this one should do. And what's really cool about these frogs is that they're actually pretty docile. And this little guy, I'm lucky, should crawl right up, hey, crawl right up on the stick, just like that. Wow, the splendid leaf frog. Nice to meet you. Finally found one after all these years. Check that out, hello. All right guys, let's head back on trail so we can get this guy up close to the cameras. All right. Yes, look at this. Woo. The splendid leaf frog. After three years of extensively searching this property, we have finally got to meet one of the most beautiful species here in Latin America, in my opinion. I mean, look at those brilliant orange pads. Totally vibrant, and look at those eyes. Just like a pale gray with a slight halo of yellow surrounding. Can you get that shot, Mario? Oh, yeah. Get in tight on those eyes. Beautiful, what a unique looking leaf frog. I mean, we've featured all kinds of species so far in Brave Wilderness, everything from red eye leaf frogs to poison frogs to bullfrogs, to smoky jungle frogs. But I have to say, of all the frogs that we've had in front of the camera so far, this one, the splendid leaf frog, is the most impressive. 
Here, let me flip it around so we can see the, the back side of the frog. You can see how well they can camouflage when they tuck in. These flaps of skin cover all this coloring during the day, so they can be up in the treetops and you would never see them. They blend in very, very well with their surroundings. And as far as what these frogs are eating here in the rainforest, basically anything that can fit in their mouths. They're eating a lot of insects, a lot of invertebrates, potentially anything that crawls in front of their face is fair game. And you may be asking yourself, what might actually eat this frog? And the answer to that would be snakes. There are many species of snakes that live here in the rainforest that would call this little guy lunch, but one snake in particular would be the parrot snake because that species of snake is arboreal and likes to climb trees during the day looking for sleeping leaf frogs like this one. So while this little guy might be out here at night foraging for food during the day, he's hunkered down hiding from those pesky parrot snakes. Look at how well is stain put on that stick. Mario, are you getting great shots or what? Yeah, this is this... probably one of the easiest frogs I've ever filmed. Right? This is amazing. I mean, it's, it's almost like striking a pose. Look at that. Now you guys know I absolutely love frogs. Frogs are by far my favorite land animal. And this frog has got to be at the top of the list. Not quite the green and black poison frog, which as you all know is my favorite. I would say this frog is a close second. So cool, so unique. And the striping on the sides there. In fact, let me uh, get a little water on my hand. You never wanna hold any amphibian with dry hands because it wicks moisture away from their bodies. So I'm gonna wet my hands there a little bit. And you definitely don't wanna wear bug spray either. That's the one thing. If you're ever going to handle any amphibian, whether it be a bullfrog in the pond next to your house or a salamander that you find crawling along the forest, you always wanna make sure you have no bug spray and you have a little bit of moisture on your fingers. And then of course you wanna be as gentle as possible. Let me see if I can get this little frog to step up on my finger here. There you go, perfect. How about that? Can you see those stripes? Oh yeah, gorgeous. Look at how vivid the stripes on that frog are. You can definitely see why they call these little guys the tigers of the leaf frogs. Just amazing. Well, how about that? After three years of coming to the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Center, we finally got to meet the splendid leaf frog. I'm Mark Vins, be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's go put this guy back on his leaf. I must say, having the opportunity to meet this charismatic creature and witness the resurgence of the splendid leaf frog on this reserve will go down as one of my favorite experiences at the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Center. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures.